Hey everybody, Hampshire Hobby Logger again. Well, we got another windstorm today. And uh, about 10.30 this morning, the power went out. So we're uh, running on, uh, on uh, the generator right now. And I had one little hiccup earlier there. It stalled out, so I tapped the regulator and going into the house there, which feeds the generator. And everything's back to snuff. Trees are blowing around. I can hear a couple of them breaking off in the woods. And so the generator's running all right. I already have the uh, uh, battery back up going. That's right, and I can't run fast enough to get there. Now, I mentioned from time to time that when I lose power, I got to keep the circulators going for the wood furnace. So this is a, a little bit of the wood that we go through, and that's the furnace. So that's the critter that has to keep running uh, so it doesn't overheat. Uh, otherwise, it's like a great big pot of water sitting on top of the wood stove and it just boils over after a while. So we keep the circulators going, keep that thing cooled right down. Right now it's uh, powered up from the house and the, and the generator, but I have another circulator that's down in the shop. And that is the first thing I go to right off the bat, is to plug that circulator in into the battery bank. Because I don't have to worry about that thing not starting. Okay, we're about ready to touch that off and, and see what we got. Um, a lot of this, uh, th this particular video is for some of the new guys that have just come on and subscribed to my channel there. And I was pretty excited to see that and, and they're all over the world. So this is a, this is a good opportunity for you guys to, to see how it really works and, and all. And it's, uh, you know, I'm pretty laid back at it now. It used to be like voodoo. It used to be like black magic and this stuff was just like, oh my God, I'm going to blow the place up or whatever. And yeah, it, it does happen once in a while, but we're still surviving it. So let's go light that off, try it anyhow, and this is a chance to uh, see if that thing's gonna take. All right.
taking smoke there a second ago, so we'll try to light this off and see if it's going to go. gas now. I'm going to give that just a minute there and we'll uh, the manometers are well, looking good. This is the uh, primary side before the uh, final filters and this pair is uh, after the filters. They're coming right out of there to the, to the feed tube that runs up to the engine and whatnot. We got a fresh yep, still hot so we got a fresh thing of uh, my uh, special proprietary wood chips that I make for this thing. And um, so we're, we take the cover off to get the uh, start so we don't end up any back pressure <clears throat> from the engine uh, when we're trying to start it. So uh, I take the cover off and that helps the thing breathe a little bit and then as soon as it's running I put it back on and we just let that stuff cook in there. So we're starting to get into the a little bit of the brown here on the orange on our inverter so we got to uh, get this thing running
sometimes you never know. It could have been all day, but uh, that's why we're doing it. So everything's uh, running good right now. Uh, got a little bit of shake down now and then, so I gotta run up and switch power off to the. Uh, and shut that off so this is the this is the merry dance that we do when we're down but uh, we've got uh, we got backup and we've got coverage for all kinds of stuff this thing is still make still running off the generator up there so we have to go shut that down we don't want to be running at five bucks an hour or more with propane I just filled that up it was pretty close to four dollars pretty close to five bucks a gallon because I'm not a high use end user on it and they charged me a, a premium to come up here and fill the tank up but last time it was down to about 55 percent and at a gallon and a half an hour for this this little devil uh, we don't want to be running too long on that so, north side of the house we still have snow out here That red light there is a little indicator for the grid. That's back on. I'm gonna run around here, run back out. The bubbler's going back again. Goody goody for my fishies. Let's go see how they're doing. They survived the winter. There they are, all huddled in there. We lost one. Lost one of the big koi's. And. Uh, but uh, I still count 21. Let's shut this old girl off. Did what it's supposed to do. There. Wind's still blowing. You don't know if it's gonna lose it or not, so we'll keep the we'll keep the uh, gasifier going for a for a little while anyhow. I got it going. I want to get everything back up to snuff and get the temperatures up, get the rest of the system cleaned out. And I think I can still hear it down there. It's good for about 15 minutes. before it needs either a rattle or a shake or a... Just working on its own. I don't see any smoke coming out of the, of the wood hopper, so it must be running. I can hear it. 